What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy DJ Big Man. Today we got an oversized load today. You guys seen the thumbnail, man. I'm going to get like a mini bus or something, a home healthcare center or whatever, and they have a van that's just battery problems. So we're hoping we can put this jump box on the van and it'll work. We don't know. So first day, man, I'll have my head mount on today. I want to try that out to see how it works. Hopefully it captures good footage and you guys can see uh, what I'm doing. It's going to be a tight fit. I think it's like an eight passenger, 10 passenger van. So hopefully it can work. I don't know. We're about to drive about 40 minutes away to go try it out and see how it works, man. So, hey, y'all stay tuned. Let's get into this video. Let's go. What's good? How you feeling? Feeling, feeling. DJ Big. Welcome to my YouTube channel. 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 Comment and subscribe, like and share for us. Comment and subscribe, like and share for us. Comment and subscribe, like and share for us. Subscribe like it's Welcome back. So I'm in the truck now. I uh, headed to my call. So uh, right now, this call is about 40 minutes away. I'm just now leaving. To be honest, there's no rush. People at the house, so it's not really a rush. So I haven't did an oversized man in a while. Um, I hope you guys can hear me as well too. I'm not using my external mics yet. This is the GoPro footage, so I'm hoping this is really, really good. Uh, while we're actually recording this right now. So I'm heading to heading to the call, man. Oversized vehicle, 12 passenger van, Ford Ecoline uh, 450. I don't know if y'all can see, I also got the cool breeze blowing right now with the windows up, so this actually feels pretty good right now. Um, so really dying to see how this turns out today. Uh, we've I've, I've hauled 550s before, 350s. Um, I guess a lot of guys get scared of this stuff due to the fact of its uh, turn. Uh, due to the fact that it's oversized. Y'all could actually see Dudley driving and uh, his little road race that he got going on. So uh, we'll see how this turns out. Um, I'm gonna try to put this camera mount possibly on my head. If not, I got another mount that I want to try to use it as well too. You won't get that much talking from me while I'm doing it, but you also get to see that's what I'm doing. So the whole object of this actual tow today, um, was considered a heavy duty tow, is I'm praying this thing jumps off. All right. Um, I have a the ultimate jump box of all jump boxes, and I'll, you'll see that today. And I'll go in depth with this thing uh, in another video uh, to go over it. But tow guys out there, even car hauler guys. If you ain't got a jump box and you want a really good one, now it's a little overkill, but you know, we have trucks as well too. So uh, this thing will start the nation, all right? It'll jump off the nation. So uh, I'm, I'm happy about it. So I've got it down here charging. It's on 72% right now. Hopefully by the time I get there, we'll be close to 80. I'm thinking that this, that's, they said that's all it needs is probably just power. So the lady driveway is on a hill. So because it's on a hill, I'm hoping that I don't have to you know, bag my truck down our driveway and try to tow this thing on an unlevel ground, if that makes any sense. Um, so the biggest thing about this, these tows, man, is being extra careful, making sure your truck is stabilized to the ground, because with that much weight on there, it will pick up the front end of your truck. That's what you don't want to do. So uh, I use chains for this kind of stuff, um, two on the front, two on the back. I might put a, an extra strap on the two front wheels or the back wheel, just for extra safety. Uh, you can never be, uh, safe enough especially when you're hauling this kind of heavy stuff uh around town so it's, it's a pretty good decent tow um so we'll see uh when we get here in about 40 minutes guys so i don't want to use all my battery i definitely want to save this battery for when we actually get out here and get to work uh like i said i'm hoping this thing cranks up if this thing cranks up man like we are in business business so we'll see how that goes and and go from there uh last but not least man if you have not subscribed to the channel man click that subscribe button like this video guys uh, I'm trying to be consistent with these videos now. Um, it's time to go time. It's time for Dudley to operate in what he needs to operate in, right? So uh, I'm, I'm definitely on go right now, man. So subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below on how you guys think I did with this tow. You know, some some tow guys are like it, some tow guys are saying, man, you did this wrong, you could have did this better. 
And guys, I'm always open to criticism. You know, I, I believe everything should be done out of love and death and respect for sure. Uh, so as long as that's going on, you know, Doug doesn't have an a issue at all. So, man, one thing I'm gonna tell y'all, while I'm talking to y'all right now, these windows are up. And this cool breeze blowing on me right now feels amazing. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm happy. I just got in the truck and it is about 11.45 in the morning. So it's not the hottest of the day, but right now I'm talking, windows are up. I feel okay, like seriously. So don't wanna waste all my battery. I got extra batteries, but I wanna kinda use just one battery for this whole video, man. So y'all stay tuned. I can't wait to get on site, man. I haven't did a, a heavy duty tow in a while now. Uh, so to actually get out here and get going and, you know, my, my children, my children is kind of rushing a little bit, man. You know, so uh, we got a pretty, pretty, pretty good mileage to tow it. So we'll see how this goes, man. So y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, we made it out here to the tow. Uh, very tight area, low hanging trees. Definitely not a fan of this. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that this van definitely drives. If this van drives, we have a way better shot into making this 10 times uh better i'm hoping that this the mailbox lady is here i don't want her to run off the road like i said very tight road that we're on right now to give you guys a good look i mean we got low hanging trees right here so you know we just gotta just see can we get out of here and there's the van you guys can see in my mirror but there's the van right here so the plan is to park on the street and kind of drive it to the truck so We'll see if it works and y'all hang tight. Change. Alright guys, so I can't put chains on this. I'm gonna have the eight point tie down it. That's my only option. I'm gonna keep the winch hooked up, but I'm gonna tie around all four corners and go from there so y'all stay tuned okay guys boy it wasn't that bad at all uh as you see we have the eight point tie downs guys i don't i haven't bought j hook uh chains yet so at the end of mine all i have is a hook and i guess you call that a i don't know t-bar r hook look at me this is a game i don't even know what it's called uh but anyway if there's nowhere in only spot in here to put that is that hole uh right here and it wouldn't go in there so i had to pull out my my eight point tie down straps i haven't used these in god knows when but i went all the way around the truck okay all the way we still got the winch hooked up underneath but i went all the way around the truck so we'll be good not bad overhang only thing that was scraping was these clamps right here up under and of course this hook of course but no damage to the van. We're about even it's gonna get on here. You're talking about a butthole puckering, boy. Here you go. Here you go. But you know your boy big guy that we're gonna take our time and do it right. But we're strapped around the entire van. Shouldn't have any issues, and there we go. So I'll see you guys at the delivery. And uh we'll drop this thing off, man. All he needs is a new battery. Uh y'all seen that good old jump box now. That good old jump box, let me tell you something. I think it's serious. I mean, it's, it's, it, it, it doesn't get any better. So back in the truck after working hot, y'all see what's in here. Come on now, y'all see that? Shout out to the Legacy. Come on, man, we back in here. Feel pretty cool. It's not as hot in here. So the temperature of the truck is cool. It's not bad, you know? So that's my, that was my main concern. Look at my arm, guys. Oh wait, how would the truck feel 
once I get back in here and get going. And it feels pretty good. Doesn't feel bad at all. So here we go to courtesy. We're on our way and y'all stay tuned. At delivery, hang tight. This was fun, guys. Haven't done this big in a long time, so this was fun. So let's go. All right, guys, we're almost at the almost at the dealership here. <sighs> y'all talking about a top heavy butt puckering ride, boy. This wasn't no joke. Uh, did it before, maybe not this long of a distance. I think this tow was probably 20 some miles. Um, so definitely uh definitely wasn't the easiest thing i would probably say i experienced since i have uh been towing uh in this particular truck so the main thing when you got some of this heavy on top of course we're top heavy right and you know these beds sits on the middle of me and that you know you got to really really be careful how you turn this truck because if not you know it's real teeny teeter totish you know what i mean i don't know if that's word or not but you guys get what i'm saying so um but she did good man she did good once it was the first time first time for this particular vehicle but i put a 550 chassis on here you guys seen those hot shot trucks that i've hauled before uh so this is an e450 i believe eco line so uh definitely clearance of the back bumper is the main thing as you guys seen we struggled with that uh the customer was fine uh i definitely probably should have used some boards 100 percent to give some kind of elevation uh, for those back tires, that would have that would have been like clutch if I could have did that. And I do have some wood uh, inside of one of my toolboxes. So, guy, what I would say, man, when you're out here reclining cars, man, definitely be be safe, be careful, take your time. Uh, even if you feel like the car is beat up, whatever, it's not your it's not your stuff, you know. So take take care of customers' car, uh, take care of the customers' car with care uh, and love, man. So I'm getting ready to drop this thing off, guys. Uh, I'll give you guys a final closeout when we get this thing off the truck. I think my GoPro bat is right now like 13%, so I'm not gonna do too much recording, um, but I'm gonna get this thing off the bed, get all these straps off, and let you guys know when I got it off and close out this video, man. So I thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're about to pull in the dealership here shortly. Uh, and the van, this truck did not move at all. I mean, those guys, them eight points, I know y'all out there used them. They're the best in the land. You know, I rarely use them, because we don't do a lot of private stuff. Um, but when I do and it's a nice car or something like that, I want to take care of the customer's car, oh, I'm definitely pulling these out for sure. Um, so I couldn't put my hooks in the frame in the rear. So, you know, hey, I just put, you know, the eight points around the entire uh, unit and it held it still, you know, all the way down the highway, Buffy Rose, the whole nine. So it did great, no complaints here. So the main thing is getting this thing off the truck, uh, keeping the weight, uh, down as I let this off uh, that's the main thing and once we can get that man we should be clear to unload this I'm hoping that it's not still dead where I can get in here and just crank it up and go so that's what I'm hoping I'm hoping that it's not completely like dead where we gotta try to jump it off again that's gonna be a, uh, a task because that band as you gotta see is sitting so close to the bed of the truck i can't get up there and even jump it so uh we'll see if this works hopefully it does work if not i gotta just kind of get up get up there and jump it off and uh go from there so uh you guys stay tuned I'm back uh boy it's so hot in here man that icy breeze cool it's definitely keeping me cool so now the truck didn't go nowhere all right she stayed put the old hino did his thing i'm so happy it did his thing but y'all see it we brought her in good uh brakes did good on the truck man uh, so we slowed down perfectly fine. I mean, look at her. I mean, she looks great. Did not move at all. Eight point tie down, winch is good. I mean, we're locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing off. I'm gonna try to sit this camera. Some of you guys can probably see me take these uh, straps off and we'll go from there. So Y'all hang tight. Very, very, very 
sounds very, very smooth. So I'm hoping this thing get in here and I can crank it up. We'll see how this works. got it all that was perfect i mean that was perfect that was perfect man so there y'all see it guys it's been a wonderful deal i love it i enjoy it i mean you gotta know what you're doing that's just the bottom line you gotta know what you're doing when you're doing stuff like this uh you gotta take your time drive safe it was a good 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 tow uh wasn't bad at all very very heavy my children is still pumping because you know God, i've been doing this a long time but i haven't been towing for a long time I've been hauling for a long time. There's a difference on how you hook things up, safety, you know, uh, but I've been enjoying the tow truck so far, man. You know, y'all guess what this paid me. Y'all take a wild guess on what this paid me. Uh, trust me, it, 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 was, it was a day's worth of work, for sure. Uh, and real simple, I mean, I got started this tow around about 12. It's like two o'clock now. So, uh, good money, I love it. Kind of like I got in the sun. That cool, icy breeze cooler, it did me well. Windows stayed the whole time. It's so cool in there, guys. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. It really, really don't. Uh, so I'm real excited about this. Uh, you guys stay tuned for more videos like this. Um, I'm going to get this van in here and get it going. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all got to see me in action on a big boy. All right, I got this GoPro now. I'm hoping this audio did wonderful today. I don't know how it did. I'm hoping it did good. But uh, we'll see when we get the footage on. And see how I did, man. So, hey, subscribe to the channel, man. Click that like button. God, I love you guys. Dilly, follow you boy on Instagram, man. DJ Big, big spelt with a one. It's another one, man. Your boy towing. Big old four equal line, 450. So, y'all stay tuned for more videos, man. I love y'all, Dilly. We out. Bam.